So in this crib I designed, there are basically two types of pieces. There are the long pieces that go along the sort of long lower side and then there are, um, there are the end pieces which are a bit more decorative. And the way it generally works is the longer pieces fit through the uprights and are pegged in place in sort of a timber frame style mortise and tenon joint. And um, all you really have to do to fit the thing together is um, each joint goes together only one way. And so in order to be able to find which piece goes in which uh, slot, I put little Roman numerals on each piece. So you find little Roman numeral one, and you line it up with the Roman numeral one on, either, on its corresponding socket. And then you just click them together. And they should go together firmly, but but quite easily. And then, let's see here. This is a Roman numeral two. Roman numeral two is here. And you want to put two of the long sides into one of the uprights. Uh, don't put uh, the uprights on either end because you'll have to take it back apart again. So just plug it in kind of like I'm doing like here. Line up these Roman numerals. And uh, just sort of fit the thing together. Okay, and once it's together, you gotta drive pegs through the holes and the whole thing will become very rigid at that point. Um, now I have designed it to go together with these uh, slightly less than half inch by half inch uh, hardwood. Well, this is a tropical Ipe peg. And because I put a slightly decorative uh, pyramid shape on the on the top, uh, you want to drive it through with uh, with a little bit of leather and a wooden mallet. And generally, I include a little mallet because <laughs> most people don't have one of these. And put the peg in like so, and then just tap it in. If it doesn't go in fairly easily, something is wrong. So just make sure it's the joint's nice and tight together. And then just tap it till just that pyramid and a little bit of sticking up. And then you just put one of those pegs in every joint. And when that's done, um, this uh, this is used to, uh, to support the mattress. And you basically just set it on the pegs, whatever pegs you want for the, the height. Now this might look sort of low, but it is, uh, it's not, because um, there's a, a five inch mattress on top, you gotta remember that. That's the highest setting for when your baby is very young. And when your baby gets like our baby is to the point where they can sit up and try and climb over things, you basically just lift this thing off, move it to the second row of pegs. Okay, so to take this crib back apart uh, when your baby is done with it, which you probably have to do a few times in the life of the crib, um, the, the best way is just to simply knock the pegs out and the whole thing falls apart. Um, I have made a, a sort of a narrow, long peg for extracting the pegs. Uh, and the cribs come with one or two of these. And you just lay the end of it over the back side of the peg. Just simply drive it back out. And then you've got the pig, and the whole joint just comes apart.